So today's topic is we're going to be covering if you are moving your website from one platform, let's say WordPress or something to Squarespace, or if you're moving from Squarespace 7.0 to 7.1, or if you're moving your site from one main domain, let's say businessname.com to businessname.b.com. You want to move your domain and your main concern is how does this work with SEO? So this is what prompted the video. Someone messaged us and said, hey, we have our site on WordPress. It's been there for 20 years and we've been growing on SEO for 20 years. And now we want to move to Squarespace and we want to keep what we've gotten over the last 20 years. First thing I want to say is just an overview of this whole video and making sure we're clear on this. Part of what that question is and the answer is something you can depend on and say, yeah, you've been working on it and developing it so we can move it. Part of it is also not true or not really an option. SEO moves and it also doesn't move. So let's walk through what that looks like. First and foremost, we want to clarify that the approach is that Google ranks pages. They don't just rank domains. Now, domain authority is very important and I'm not disregarding that in this case. What I want to highlight is that oftentimes pages are getting ranked, not your entire site. So perhaps you show up high in one type of search where another type of search that's very relative, very relevant and very relative to the first search, you're not showing up as high. And that's because Google does rank authority, domain authority, but overall they rank pages. So your pages are going to be really important, especially in the move. What I've seen often is when people make new sites, they sometimes consolidate pages. And what ends up happening there when they consolidate pages is that they end up getting rid of pages, but they don't set up what they call 301 redirects. So perhaps you have an about page and on your new site, you decide, I just want a home page. Well, Google has been ranking your about page for a long time now and your contact page for a long time now, or they perhaps show up in search results when people search for keywords around your business, but now they don't exist anymore. So you want to set up 301 redirects to make sure they go to the right page and space bar agency. We have a service that's called website transfer. We make sure all of these things are covered in the process. But what we want to make very clear is that because you've been building SEO for 20 years, there isn't some magic code in the back end of your site that you copy and then paste on your new site. Everything comes from your domain and then specifically the URLs for every one of your pages. That is probably the healthiest way to think about it. So perhaps if you are a baker in your local community and you're trying to make sure that your menu, your forward slash menu page is showing up at the top of Google when you transfer your site, because it is right now, it's showing up at the top of Google now on your WordPress site and you want to make sure it shows up on your new site. Well, what you want to do is make sure that the URL is exactly the same on your new site. So you don't want to call it the full menu or menu at this location, you want to make sure it keeps the same exact URL or set up 301 redirects or other. There's other advanced options, but for the most part, the 80% rule is you want to just make sure that the new site has the same exact URL on the same exact page. Following any pages you got rid of, you want to make sure that you're pointing them somewhere. So just because you got rid of the page, you want to make sure that that URL, even if you try to remove them in Google Search Console, and a lot of what I'm saying right now could be very heady. And you're like, I don't even understand what you're talking about. But what I want to make clear is that you want to make sure all the pages on your current site, what you're transferring is the URL, is the domain, the domain and the URL. It is not necessarily an overall just like Google is like, you've been here for 20 years. And so we're going to give you special powers or something. Brand new sites get released and they get to the top of Google because they have a lot of traction. It really depends on what people are finding valuable. That is truly the bottom line. What people are finding valuable, what people are clicking on and what Google is ranking through that process. So this isn't a perfect walkthrough where I'm going to detail you do this first and that and that. But the things you like to consider in this process, if you're doing one of these transfers is number one, you want to ensure you're set up with Google Search Console on both domains. So 
or on your current site. And then as soon as you transfer it, you want to make sure that you update Google Search Console immediately. You want to make sure you have 301 redirect set up and you want to make sure that your most popular pages, the URLs stay exactly the same. It is not good to change URLs out of the blue. URLs, once they're set and created, you want to keep them as long as possible. Changing them is not an ideal situation in the middle of your website and all of that. Now, you may see a dip. With a professional, you may be able to control this as much as possible, but you may see a dip in your organic search results or your search ranking analytics of how many people are showing up on your site. So just bear that in mind. Even the best professional will see a dip in rankings as you go through this process. The one other thing I just wanna say is keeping SEO. So sometimes the messages we get or what people ask us is something to the extent of, as I mentioned earlier, can you copy this code from the images or these certain tags or keywords and put them in our new site to make sure it all matches? It really doesn't work that way. Now, what could be done is say you have 100 images on your current website and you have alt text or metadata written for every single one of those images. What we can do is copy that for that specific image and place it on the new image on your new website. That would be a valuable tool. Overall, again, this process is not a science. It's not a perfect formation that will guarantee anything. There truly isn't any type of guarantee, but there is a way to combat and make sure that everything shows up as, as it should. What you wanna avoid is if a link from your old site shows up on Google and someone clicks on it, that it takes them to a dead page. You wanna make sure that happens the least amount possible. That helps ensure that you keep. I hate, I don't like using that word because nothing is guaranteed. Google can change their algorithm tomorrow and, and things can shift. So even in your best case, you could do everything right, but the algorithm could change. And so there is something to be said that there is not a perfect system here. And that might not be the most exciting news, but what I just wanna make clear is that with a professional, you can walk through the process as smooth as possible. I remember one client we worked with they had their site on one Squarespace, Squarespace 7.0, and they were moving to 7.1. New site was beautiful, but it was very much condensed. And so if you search them on Google, a ton of pages came up that were dead pages. So we recommended to them to do a 301 redirect service, fix some of the old domains and make sure it matches as much as possible. I don't know if it just never clicked or whatever, but that service never ended up happening. And that is a really negative effect to your SEO. So you wanna ensure as much as possible the base content, the base pages from the URL. So you could change the content on the page, but the actual URL and that the fact that you have a services page and the fact that you have a about page and a contact page, all of that, you wanna make sure it transfers. Over time, you could start to cut it or skim it or whatever, but you wanna make sure it points to something. You wanna make sure everything you have right now points to something in on your new site. So again, if you're moving from WordPress to Squarespace, the main thing to consider is when you do that actual domain transfer, that all the URLs will still work from the previous WordPress site. And just to be clear, I'm not saying that they go to the old WordPress site, but that when you click on them, they take you somewhere on the new Squarespace website. That's what 301 redirects are. And I believe we have a blog post on our on Spacebar Agency forward slash guides that you could look at that will walk you through how to set up a 301 redirect if you want to do this yourself. But with a 301 redirect with Google Search Console and with just a professional eye to compare everything that is on one domain and another domain, that would be a great way to ensure you keep, keep as much as possible your SEO during the transfer. And so if you need help with this, please let us know down below. A lot of times people are figuring out what service they want to do and if they should even hire an SEO professional or what that should be. So if you're looking for a consultation, it's a new service that we provide that five minutes, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, whatever it is, you would just pay by the minute and we could do a phone consultation, review your website, review what you'd like to do and come up with a, a proper game plan for you, whether you do it on your own or hire a professional or whatever that may be. All right, so if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. With that, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want more content just like this. The like button lets me know that you're getting value from this content. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.